cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death in women, and finding early screening and prevention is important. And since most women between ages 64 and, I'm sorry, 18 and 64, see their gynecologist primarily <clears throat> as their main point of contact, we want to investigate a, an opportunity for gynecologists to do this screening. And one of the things we had noted that women who underwent hysterectomy seemed to be at higher risk for cardiovascular disease, such as high blood pressure or obesity. And that's why we did our study. The Rochester Epidemiology Project is a wonderful opportunity to answer these questions. <clears throat> it's a population-based medical records linkage system based here in Olmsted County. And we investigated all women who had undergone a hysterectomy and had kept both their ovaries between 1965 and 2002. And we compared them to women of the same age who had not undergone hysterectomy. And in the over 7,000 women that we had in our study, we found that women who underwent hysterectomy were at higher risk for hyperlipidemia, metabolic syndrome, and obesity. Women who had hysterectomy before age 36 were actually at higher risk for obesity and stroke than women of their same age. But this wasn't true for women who underwent hysterectomy after age 50. They were at lower risk for stroke, or congestive heart failure. Across all the age brackets, as well as all the indications that we looked at for hysterectomy, obesity was the main driver of risk. And obesity can be related to a lot of the causes for hysterectomy, such as fibroids and prolapse. So we th we're thinking that treating obesity could not only uh, help cardiovascular risk, but also reduce the risk of hysterectomy. So anyone who's being considered for hysterectomy for gynecologic reasons, this is a great opportunity to ask their doctors about um, their own cardiovascular risk and whether they need to be screened or have any other prevention methods.